Are you interested in deploying production-grade Kubernetes clusters in your on-prem data center? Well, with Nutanix Carbon, you can quickly provision, manage, and operate your Kubernetes clusters all with a Nutanix Prism. Well, let's get started. So now that Carbon is general availability, we're just going to go ahead and click on the menu button and then down to services and then carbon. Uh, if carbon is not enabled in your environment, uh, there'll be a button here to press to enable it. And it'll get spun up in about five to 10 minutes uh, as a couple of Docker containers, which lives on the Prism Central VM. Since mine is already enabled, I'm going to click on the link to take me to the carbon console. And now that that's opened up, I'm going to go ahead and create a Kubernetes cluster. So we're going to get started here uh, working through the development cluster workflow. Uh, all of these settings are configurable as we'll see. And I'm going to actually come back and deploy a production cluster, but just to show you the development cluster workflow. First, I'm going to name the Kubernetes cluster. This is for the Prism element cluster you want to deploy this Kubernetes cluster onto. I only have one PE registered to this Prism Central, so I only have the one choice. Uh, the Kubernetes version, I'm going to leave the most recent. And for the host operating system, I do have two versions. I'm going to leave the older version uh, selected so I can show a host OS upgrade in a later demo video. Now I'm going to hit next. And we can see here these worker resources are configurable, both from the number and the amount of memory or vCPU or the storage. Uh, master and etcd are locked down for the development cluster. There's really only need uh, for one, but you can change the resources. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and go back so we can see how the production cluster looks like. And we see here the default is three workers. And for the master, the default is active passive. You can also, if you want more than two VMs, uh, you can put it behind an external load balancer. You can choose anywhere from two to five. Uh, that does require you to enter in the external load balancer IP. I'm just gonna leave it active passive uh, for this demo. And the number of etcd VMs, uh, you can choose three or five and obviously uh, tweak the resources as well. I'm just gonna leave the defaults for everything in this deployment. For the network, uh, right now, the only CNI we support is Flannel. Uh, we'll be adding more in future releases. For the service and pod IP subnets, you can likely just leave these defaults. Essentially, the, the only requirement is that these do not overlap with your physical networking. So unless your physical hosts are in the same subnet, you can just go ahead and leave those as default. So finally uh, is the storage class. So the default storage class that gets created is built off of the Nutanix CSI driver and Nutanix volumes. So this is going to enable us to easily uh, provision storage to our Kubernetes workloads. We do have to enter in the Prism Element uh, information. Again, if you had more than one Prism Element registered, uh, it would show up in this dropdown. You can choose which storage container to use for this. I'm just going to leave it as the default container. And then also your reclaim policy. So what do you want to happen to these volumes once the user is done with them? Uh, it's either delete or retain. And the file system, I'm going to leave it as the a default ext4, but you can choose XFS. And finally, I'm going to leave enable flash mode untoggled. But if you generally, if you have a couple of different storage classes, uh, you might want to create one. Uh, that does have flash mode enabled, depending on what sort of workload you're running. And finally, I'm going to hit create. And so this is going to go and uh, start the Carbon Kubernetes cluster deployment. Uh, we'll see this percentage slowly increment. It should take about five to 10 minutes to deploy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video now. All right, we now see the Carbon Demo Kubernetes cluster was successfully deployed and is healthy. I'm gonna go ahead and download the kube config. Come over to my terminal. 
I'll move my cube config into my desired directory. I'm going to go ahead and do a cube control git nodes. We see my two master nodes, we my three worker nodes. And so now this cluster is ready to go and I can deploy any any Kubernetes workloads that I desire. It's also CNCF compliant, so I can add on any of my favorite third-party add-ons, uh, some of which we do install for you, so stay tuned for an upcoming video where we'll go over that. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and we're going to have a couple more Nutanix Carbon videos coming soon.